If you already own some Lynx levelers, you're going to like this idea. Thomas Mucci from Elma, New York uses them during emergency situations. They're orange and bright, so they're great for visibility. And he recommends just stacking about four of them on the ground behind your RV and then picking up a construction flag like this one because it fits right in. But actually, any flag will do. That's a good idea. Thanks, Thomas. Bonnie Moss from Livingston, Texas lost her entire water heater door in a desert windstorm. She thinks that the latch flipped sideways when they were washing the RV, so she recommends before going anywhere checking the latch to make sure it's facing down. And our technical advisor, Gary Bohink, takes it one step further. He recommends using a pair of zip ties to lock it in place. All you do is you place one zip tie up this way, and then you're going to latch one through the hole and put them together. Once you have them tightened down, you can use wire cutters to clean it up. And then just keep it like that unless you need to get into your water heater. Good idea. Thanks, Bonnie and Gary. Paul and June Bachman from Minden, Nevada found a great way to improve their RV stove. They thought their burner grate was too low and it kept burning their pots and pans. So they replaced their grommets, one of these, with some of these. This is a tire air stem. We're going to give it a try. So all you do is you move the grate and then we're going to place the air valve stems in and you just give them a good push where all the grommets would have been. And then you place the grate back in those holes. Make it secure. And if I move this out of the way, you can see this one's a lot lower than this one. It really makes a difference. Good idea. Thanks, Paul and June. Thomas Clem from Silver Springs, Maryland uses one of these to see out of his coach window. He has a C-Class motorhome and the windows are a little high to give him good visibility. All this is is a wide angle lens you might see on the back of a van. And he recommends just placing it in the front of his side coach window. It sticks on real easy, just like that. And now thanks to that wide angle lens, I have pretty good visibility and I can see that's not a good place to park because it's actually handicapped parking, so we'll have to move. But that's a good idea. Thanks, Thomas. 